All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the post-apocalypse camper mod, which is being made by user Arindu. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a lovely new set of trailer campers for you to build in your settlements instead of, you know, the normal shacks. And I quite love these things. They are wonderful, though I will admit they are a bit awkwardly bulky and large, but it kind of makes sense when you think about how the settlement system in the game does function, as well as, of course, the need to actually have usable space for either yourself or, of course, your various settlers. So it does make a bit of sense that they do have to be a bit large just to be able to build things inside of them. But even with that in mind, I love them. I think they do still very much fit into the Fallout world. They just kind of look like something you'd find parked along the highway and, you know, you've found a new home for yourself. They are pretty neat and offer a whole new way of potentially designing your settlements or, you know, perhaps even making a whole RV park out there somewhere. It could be a fun idea. So let's take a look at what exactly we do get here, starting with, of course, the varieties. Which you've probably already noticed, there are three trailers here, and thus that means you have three different varieties of trailers to work with. The first, and my personal favorite being, the Rusty Trailer. I love this one because to me, it feels like something that would be in the post-apocalypse. It's a trailer that somehow survived the war. It's rusty, it's dirty, but it works. So cool, good times there. If you would like something a bit cleaner though, there is of course the refurbished camper that has been cleaned up a bit, given a little bit of a shine, and all in all is, well, just a cleaner looking thing, especially those hubcaps there on it, very shiny. But if you'd like something a bit more colorful, well, you're not left out. We have the Midnight Blue trailer, which is bright. Well, considering it's Midnight Blue, technically it's not, but, you know, it's colorful at the very least. It's definitely the uh, most interesting of them, though personally, I still think I like the rusty version. It just, to me, screams post-apocalypse and fallout. Now, the midnight blue one here is actually very interesting because this one you're not going to have from the beginning of the game. The rusty one and the refurbished one you'll start the game with. You can build them with no problems. The midnight blue, however, you will not have access to until you finish MacReady's companion quest. And it's one of the kind of interesting things about this mod. That quest is basically the reason all of these things exist, because of MacReady's comment in that whole thing, where he wants to live in a midnight blue trailer, hold on a moment, with a leopard print rug. <laughs> uh, so yes, this is what you get after completing the quest, a midnight blue trailer that MacReady has always wanted with that leopard print in there. It's gaudy and weird, but you know what? I'm okay with that, and MacReady will love it. Now, as for the interiors, uh, the rusty one, of course, is, well, rusty, especially on those air vents on the side of the compartment. Those are very rusty. Certainly need some cleaning before you'd want to breathe anything through those. When it comes to the MacReady Midnight Blue trailer or the refurbished one, uh, they all have more or less the same panels, but those air vents on the side there are, of course, far more clean. That's really the only difference between the interiors from the rusty and the refurbished in Midnight Blue. But all of them do still have that same wooden paneling on the inside, the same windows, and of course the same magnificent skylight. My god, I've never seen a camper with a skylight like this, and I would love it. <laughs> it would just be so cool to camp in something like this to see the stars. But yeah, the main difference between the varieties of campers' interior is the rusty vents there and there, as they get a bit more clean once you get into these two. Now, as for how you build them, it's, well, pretty simple. You're just going to have to go in to the workshop mode, and the uh, trailers themselves are going to be found in metal, then prefabs. 
and you'll just have to go down until you'll find the refurbished chrome trailer here for some wood, steel, and glass, and then the rusted trailer again for wood, steel, and glass. Now you'll notice that they have no door on them. To do that, you are gonna have to back out to the structures area and then head on over to doors where you'll find a rusted and refurbished door quite a ways down the list. As you can see there, we've got the rusty door and right there, the shiny new refurbished one. Now, if you would like to put a carpet in either the rusted or the refurbished, you actually can add in that same leopard print rug if you do go out to decorations and then into floor coverings, you will find the rug for this thing right here, a worn rug. And the nice part is you actually can put this on any surface, you can put this in any normal home, but it's designed specifically to click in to these RVs, which is quite nice. So you could have that same rug McCready loves in either the uh, refurbished or the uh, rusted one here. Otherwise, it'll just have a metal floor like so. Now, as for the Midnight Blue one, again, this is a special thing that doesn't unlock until you beat McCready's companion quest, and it actually becomes its own special category here. It'll be in with special. And you'll have in here the Midnight Blue door, the Midnight Blue leopard print rug, which is actually identical to the other rug, but, you know, it's properly called the leopard print rug. And finally, the Midnight Blue trailer in here, again, for wood, steel, and glass for you to build. And yeah, it's as simple as that. And I do also love that just in the description for these, it is saying a trailer for McCready. It makes sense. That's kind of the whole point of this particular one. So a very fun thing there indeed. From the beginning of the game, you'll have the option of uh, these two. And later on, you can get one of these for good old McCready. And all in all, they're just lovely little homes. I quite like them, actually. Again, a bit awkwardly large, but you do have the ability to, you know, build with any furniture that you so desire in here. You've got plenty of room to work with, and that is always a very nice and useful thing to have when working with a home. Heck, you could even turn these things into some sort of store, whatever you do desire for your settlements. Now, the one issue I have with these, besides the minor complaint of the bulk, is that there does appear to be an awkwardly missing texture on the uh, doors here, which is a little bit strange. And it's on all of them, even the McCready trailer here. Uh, it's nothing too big, and hopefully it's something that can be fixed in a quick patch by the maker of these. But yeah, just overall, even with those little things, it's just a neat mod, adding in a cool new thing to build in your settlements, or indeed make your settlements out of, and give McCready his dream. And isn't that worth it in the end? And so if you would like to build any of these yourself and check out the mod, I would certainly recommend it. You can take a look at the link in the description to get it yourself, but that is going to be it for this one, folks. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and you do come back for the next one. We'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod, but until that time, uh, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.